Hello everybody, welcome back to my Sims Legacy! I have lost all of the audio to this video, um, it's one of those things that got lost in the great oops of 2021. Um, I've also doubled up the speed, um, because the Sims there is just a lot of walking around and just beating them. Uh, so <laughs> I'm gonna try to follow, follow along and kind of explain what I'm doing as it's also going double speed. So you see my mouse going around. Basically what I did was I took all of the plants, which was a stupid amount, and moved them out of the greenhouse. So the greenhouse is going to be an art studio now. Um, we did name our little baby Diamond. <laughs> so we're just working on getting her healed up. Obviously Eric is not doing very well, but that's alright. It's just Eric. <laughs> um, just also a little note. Um, the next episode I'm going to do a different editing technique. It's just... Um, because I lost the audio of this one, I couldn't figure out what was going on if I kept skipping all over the place. So, this is what we're stuck with. <laughs> Me doing a voiceover. <laughs> so, um, yeah, not too much happens really in between episodes or anything like that. Our house is still relatively the same. Um, it's just I moved all of the plants. And here what I'm doing is... Um, Diamond is going to age up anytime now, and so she needs more stuff for her room. So I start trying to place things that I might like, um, but I very soon discover that there's nowhere near enough space in this tiny little room. Yeah, so we move it all to the other room because for whatever reason, it's a little bit bigger. So that room is now going to be the baby room. Oh yeah, those doll houses are way bigger than I thought they were. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that room's gonna be the baby room. The one that she was in previously is gonna be like, um, yeah, the child teen room. And I'm trying to keep it all like this gender neutral kind of green orange pattern. I think it's really cute. <laughs> and then if we have suns later, um, you know, it still works. It's not all bright pink. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but you know, um, honestly, I kind of like going with the fairy slash safari kind of theme. Um, and this game, really, I only have, like, the fairy theme, but that's the best I got. Yeah, so layout was a little bit difficult. I'm trying to figure out where I want things. I wanted to have, um, like, a rocking chair or a little chair that, um, Mai could read to her, but I just couldn't figure out where to put it. And I also didn't really know that toddlers can go up and down the stairs because I don't usually pay attention to the toddlers. Um, right, so here I'm just trying to do the walls. Yeah, so I put um, the high chair in her room because in Sims 3 they can't go up and down the stairs. So it's actually a lot easier in that game anyways if you just have the high chair where they can reach it, which in this case would be the second floor. So I put it in her room. Um, also, all of her toys are up there, so the less time she has to spend going up and down the stairs, the better. So, <laughs> I'm just trying to decorate this room up a little bit. I really wanted some nice curtains, but it took me forever to find some. As you can see. <laughs> yeah, so basically I just get this full room done. I'm just buying curtains, of course. That'll fit these tiny windows. There we go. <laughs> so that's my room now, or not my, Diamond's room. Oh yeah, they're all absolutely terrified of lightning, which is absolutely stupid, I think. Like, get over yourselves. It's not that scary. Right, and she had all these toys that I bought her. I bought her like one of every toy, I think, too. Oh. And I had forgotten to, we get little birth certificates now, so I'm going to try to maybe make a wall of birth certificates, or um, once I get a graveyard for everybody, I might put them all in there too. Like, have a nice little portrait of them and their birth certificate. I think that'd be really cute. A cute idea for a graveyard. <laughs> right, so essentially he's got two gardens going. So the, the front ones are like pansies or something like that, or daisies. I think they're pansies. And then he's got like his proper garden of trees and stuff. And it's summer. <laughs> so um, at some point I'm probably going to move all the gardens again, but it's good enough for right now. 
Of course, why has it been? It's your dream to be a great painter. But not really. What it is is I just want portraits of everybody for the grace. <laughs> Talking to the dog. <laughs> But the dog is pretty darn cute, so I must say. And I actually like that owl painting she did, so I saved it. Simon is always crying. So, the regular legacy challenge, you're supposed to do totally random um, thingamajigs. But I don't like doing that. So I kind of compromised and I clicked the button three times and ended up with Angelic again anyways. <laughs> oh yeah, so she just aged up. So we're going to change her looks. Unfortunately, I need more toddler hairstyles, but really they don't stay in the toddler stage for that long anyway. Christmas tree. <laughs> I like the cat look, but I forgot they don't actually have cats, so I wanted to go with a dog, but they just weren't as cute. And she definitely does not need huge glasses. I mean, realistically, that was good enough because, again, she's not going to spend all that much time in the taller stage. It's kind of nice, too, that they gain skills without you really doing anything. Like, she's gaining potty and walking skill or whatever, um, just on her own, aside from, like, the first little bit where you have to teach her to use the potty chair. They do it all on their own, which is so much easier than the last one where you have to spend like hours of your sims' lives teaching them stuff. Uh, but it was easier to build a relationship with them when you did that. You don't need dare drink from the puddles, Mallory. Bad dog. I swear I taught her to not do that. Oh, that's right, she's too hot, I think is what it was, that the baby was so sad. Diamond, little diamond was so sad because it's so hot, but I didn't realize it yet, obviously. Yeah, there, there I realized it. I always forget about the thermostat. And I've also actually not had a problem with them being too hot. It's usually that they're too cold. Indeed, beautiful sunflower. Wow, Eric just stares at his plants. <laughs> I'm gonna figure out if I can put my own paintings in because that would be so much fun. So much fun. A beautiful little homemade painting from mine. Aww. Right, so what I'd like to do is take a picture of them and their spouse. <laughs> um, but some of them are junk, obviously. So. I was going to put them all up to see which ones were the better ones, but I can't even see in this lighting anyways, but that one was garbage, so I sold it to a publication or something stupid, um, even though it's just like a brick wall. <laughs> but whatever, I got $7 out of that, I think it said. <laughs> so once I get their bedroom done, I'll, I'll have it a lot better. And by that I mean, I'll put the photos up. I don't know where you're going just went.
Oh, right. I also didn't realize the bookcase is in the way. I don't think I actually realized that this episode. I realized that while I was doing the next episode. <laughs> um, yeah, I recorded in advance just because of my work schedule. So, yeah, next episode I realize the bookshelf is in the way. <laughs> and I move it so that Diamond can get to her toys. Uh, yeah, so checking out what they need for their jobs. It's nice though that Eric can um, stay home when he wants to work. And I don't know what that kind of painting that is. I'm seeing some bad paintings, but that one is pretty bad. Bad dog. Bad. See, and then I'm pretty sure it says he's not gonna do it no more, and then it's all like, oh, I'm gonna do it again. Bad dog. Bad. Bad dog. And then I wish she doesn't eat because she's sitting there lecturing the dog. And then I forgot about the child. <laughs> Oh, I didn't even realize Mallory eats her food there, too. Sell those plants. Sell them good. Right. So the plan was to have five of every plant, which I obviously didn't have for lemons, so I just replanted some of them. And by replanted, I planted some of them. <laughs> and of course, for whatever reason, it moves them. In our case, standing in the way. Get out of the way. And then I just move everything over because I'm not sure if he can actually find his way to the plants if they're that close together. So we just move them. Oh, I just thought maybe I could have a little tree line against the back. That'd be nice. Like a little tree border. And somebody knocked them on my trash. Staring at the plants again. Oh, that's what he was researching, is what he was actually doing. Yay. Like your life depends on it because it kind of does. Or at least your life usually does. Yeah, so this whole section does count as one garden, which I wasn't sure if it would, but it actually does. That painting looks like your standard paint night painting. She's up. Go, stinky baby, go! <laughs> Am I gonna check it out, I guess? And another weird looking painting from her. I was trying to I think, do the emotional painting thing, but confidence doesn't work, or maybe it's because she already had it. Oh yes, bills. I must say though, the pathfinding in Sims 4 is a lot better than Sims 3, because 
There's no way that they would have taken her to the potty um, in Sims 3 if everything was that close. In that tiny bathroom. You know how people put people like in the walls or in the basement just to paint? I kind of feel like that's where Mai is going. <laughs> but at least she gets sunshine. But it's just like... All she does is paint 24-7. Right, the dog looked like she needed a bath. That's a cool one. One of these days they'll have friends. But the reason I'm not making them go hang out with people is because babies are very, very annoying. I mean, we actually care about them. <laughs> and in this case, we care about Diamond because she's our heir. No idea what I was doing with that other than harvesting, obviously. Wait, where are you going, Diamond? Let's wear those because I want five. I found that really annoying too. Um, I don't know if you can, but I didn't find the button to feed the child on the floor like you used to be able to do, which I like better because it's way more convenient and you don't have to worry about cleaning out the plates and stuff. I need to get to the bathroom. She should not want to go. Poppy really wants a mate, and she's not getting one. <laughs> I was thinking about it, um, doing like a line of dogs to go with, like breed a line of dogs to go with um, the Sims, but it just leads to a whole lot of animals. Well, I think that just about takes care of this episode. <laughs> I did it double time, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know it's a little different than what I was doing before but next week is going to be even more different so I hope you guys don't mind um <laughs> hope you guys are enjoying the series though and I'll see you in the next one bye